default function arguments in JavaScript are here. And this is one of those features that's going to make your both your life much easier as well as going to make your code much more readable and maintainable. So let's say we have a function or a function called calculate bill. And that function is going to take in three things. The total for our meal, how much we spent on it, how much we need to pay in taxes, so like the percentage, and then how much you would like to also tip your waiter. And from that, we can return the total and the tax and the tip rate. If you think I'm a cheapie for not tipping on the tax amount, get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Then we'll make a new variable called a total bill and we'll use our new function. Pass it. Maybe you have a $100 meal and the tax rate in Ontario here is 13% and uh, tip rate is maybe 15%. We need to figure out how much all of that costs. Good. So that tells us uh, 128 bucks. Now, what happens if we want to assume 13%? tax rate and we want to assume a 15% tip rate. Previously, what we would do, and maybe let's just go ahead and, and take those things off. We get an error here, NAN, and that's because we're trying to do math against things that aren't passed in. And what is the value of tax and tip when they get passed in? They're going to be undefined. Watch console log tax. It's going to tell us that is undefined. So what we would normally do is we would go into here and we say if tax is undefined, then tax equals 0 0.13. And then we would also do if tip is undefined, we would say tip is equal to 0 0.15. And then it would actually go ahead and work for us. See, so yeah, it works fine there. But like this is just uh, it's a whole lot of code that we added. And you might be saying like, oh, yeah, Wes, you can do this. Tax equals tax. Or you can do this little trick here where you can say it equals itself. And if if itself is undefined, then the 13% will go in. And that, that's OK, I guess. I, I don't mind that. If But it can be a little bit hard for others on your team uh, to have to read in. And also, if you've got four or five different arguments coming in, then uh, you've got to do all this crazy code at the top. So let's just do without that entirely. And what we can do now in ES6 is just simply set it when we define our function. So we say tax equals 0.13 and tip equals 0 0.15, and those things will be assumed. If nothing is passed in for that one, then the defaults are going to go ahead. There we go, good. Um, what else we can do is, what if I wanted to pass like uh, only the total amount as well as the tip amount? Because like I'm a big tipper, so let's say like I'm, I'm tipping 25% here, but like tax rate, I'm, that's not gonna change because I'm still in Ontario. Can I just like leave it empty? like we've done here. No, syntax error doesn't. How do you like leave a hole in here? Well, what what does this essentially check for? It checks for someone passing undefined. So you can just explicitly pass undefined. And what that does is it's going to pass undefined as tax. The function is going to say, oh, no one passed any tax. And it's going to uh, assume 0 0.13. And then the tip, custom tip is going to kick in here. You see, we've got 138 bucks. That's it. Pretty simple. I've got another one where uh, this is order dependent. And when we hit destructuring, I'm going to show you how do you use an object in destructuring here so that you could pass these in any order as well as have default arguments. See you in that video.